In this video, you will learn about scientific notation. Sometimes we are faced with very large numbers or very small numbers. Do you know how to say that very large number? Knowing how to use the place value chart will help you say this number correctly. Let's go through each place value to know how to say this number. The first zero is in the ones place. The second zero is in the tens. Then we have the hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, one hundred millions, billions, ten billions, one hundred billions, trillions, and ten trillions. So if you remember how to say these numbers correctly, this number would be 24 trillion. Do you know how to say the small number that's listed there? Well, we can use the same method of using the place value to help us. The first zero is in the ones place, and after the decimal point, we have the tenths position. After the tenths, there is the hundredths, then the thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, one hundred millions, and billions. And if you remember how to read decimal numbers correctly, you would read the digits after the zeros as a regular number and then state the place value at the end. So this number would be read 93 billions. Now scientific notation allows us to use the exponents and powers of 10, also known as the base 10 system, to write these numbers in an easier format. Remember this chart? Well, we can use this concept to write the very large numbers and the very small numbers in an easier way. The number 10 million has seven zeros, and when we write it in base 10 format, we say 10 to the power of seven. The number 10 millions is written with seven zeros as well, and we can write that as 10 to the power of negative seven. As we learned previously, these larger numbers, we call them the whole number part, and the smaller numbers, the decimal part. We are going to use this to write our large numbers and our very small numbers using the base 10 system. Before we continue with scientific notation, you will see this table in your lecture work packet. Go ahead, pause this video, and fill out the missing parts so that you will know the different prefixes, symbols, and the base tens that each of these numbers correspond with. Let's continue in your lecture work packet to number five. To write a number in scientific notation, we need to write it into two parts. The first part is to write the number as a number between one and 10. Now, to really make sure you understand it, we normally use what's called an inequality. This basically means that the number can be equal to 1, but it has to be strictly less than 10. So the number could basically equal to 1, but it cannot be equal to 10. It has to be strictly less than 10. So in the whole number part, it cannot be a two-digit number. Now, the second part of it is that we will multiply it by a base 10, or rather a power of 10. Now, any number can be written in scientific notation but we use it primarily for very large and very small numbers. Here's an example of a really small number in scientific notation. Notice how the number five and two tenths is between one and 10, then it's multiplied by a base 10. Remember the negative power means that it's a small number. Here's an example of a large number in scientific notation. Once again, notice the first part of the number is between one and 10 and then multiplied by a base 10. The power of 15 shows that it's a very large number. Go ahead and put that in for number six on your lecture work packet. Okay, so let's see if we understand how scientific notation format should look like. Which one of these numbers is not written in scientific notation form and why? You can always pause the video to give yourself more time to think. If you answered C, then you are correct. And the reason why is simply that 40 is not a number between 1 and 10. It is greater than the number 10, and therefore it is not in scientific notation form. How about number 8? Which one of these numbers is not written in scientific notation form, and why? If you guessed A, you are correct. And the reason why is that the number must be written in base 10 format. Notice that the second number is 1 instead of 10. Okay, let's do number nine. Which one of these numbers is not written in scientific notation form and why? If you answered C, you were correct. And the reason why is 10 and 32 hundredths is greater than 10. 
and therefore it is not in scientific notation form. In the next video, we will look at how to change a number in ordinary form into scientific notation.